Hi everybody. Well, winter is finally over and we're looking forward to a new year. Today's video I'm going to call Projects, Progress, and Thank Yous. So like I said, winter is finally behind us and uh, we didn't have a whole lot of things that we did this winter uh, that were video worthy, uh, but we pieced together enough to show you what we have been up to this winter. And the first thing is the gravity box that's behind me. Now if you follow my channel, you'll recall when I brought it home, there was a lot of rust on the exterior. The box itself was in real good shape, but it had a lot of surface rust. So put it in the barn got out the angle grinder with a wire wheel and we went to work taking all that nasty old rust off, got it down to bare metal. And since then we've coated it with three coats of paint, did some repairs and uh, we now have a really nice gravity box. Uh, I'm also gonna show you some of the other things that we've worked on this year. This, uh, actually it's winter. So uh, follow me if you would and I'll show you what we've been up to. And I wanna thank you for tuning in. If you're not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and follow along and uh, we would appreciate that and uh, we do appreciate you. Paired that corner with a piece of angle iron, folded it up and uh, also this unloading chute had been bent so that's been straightened up and the last little repair this has been welded up it had broke and they put a piece of angle iron under it to uh, to support it to span it so ground that down re-welded it got three coats of paint on the wagon I'm probably going to give it another coat or two and also put some of that I think it's called easy slide inside the box so things slide down easier you can see that I Got a little bit of paint on the tires. Kill Brothers gravity box sitting on a John Deere 720 running gear. I'm very pleased with how this project turned out. I'm really, really happy to have this little project done. My cousin, who I won't mention any names, built a quick attach for his small John Deere compact tractor. And when I was over to his place while he was building it, I said, boy, it'd be nice to have one on a farm tractor like mine. And he said, well, let's build one. So, to be honest, <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot to do with that other than getting him dimensions. And he built it up. So, what we do is quick attach to this bucket. We did, uh, my son did the welding on this, um, made a, there was a couple of plates that my cousin made that we cut and fitted into this plate. So now we have a quick attach bucket. And we also have, I'm gonna walk out here, two projects to show you. A quick attach plate was made, made up for this five foot pallet forks. So now we also can lift things up with a, with a pallet fork that I never had before. While we're on the subject and right here, this project I'm very happy to have done. Second favorite farmer back in about the first part of February, brought this grain bin over and sat it on the pad for me. The ladder was pretty, pretty bad shape. So we made up a new one. And we stopped right there because the rest of it was still good. 
So I'm very happy to have this project done as well. Now I can get a, a boot. That's a flat one right there, but we're gonna get a boot at about a 45 degree angle, be able to go into the barn and into the feeder. Another project that we've got going on right now is this old Oliver 252 disc frame that we've repurposed into a welding table. And uh, we got four inch square tube legs, got four inch C channel at the bottom for support. Those uh, bins right there are for welding rod. Down at the other end, we welded a piece of angle iron on so that we can hang our grinders, C-clamps, whatever on that. A new acquisition. Actually, my son Chris bought this. It's a new to him welder. He'd been wanting one of these for a long time. A friend of his had it for sale. He got a good deal on it, and it's been a real nice welder for him to, to use on these projects that we've been uh, doing around here. It will replace that old tombstone sitting underneath of this welding table. When I say replace, not entirely replaced because that old tombstone was my dad's. He gave it to me, and even though this one's a, a better welder, we'll never part with that old tombstone. Another little project that we got done was we added colders to this plow. If you watch my FFA Plow Day video and plowing with this Oliver plow without colders, it was on wheat stubble and it did fine. But now we have colters added to this plow. They're John Deere colters, but they mount up. Happy to get that, that little project done. And what's growing on the farm? Well, we got a new group of feeder pigs in. We'll be uh, getting those set to freezer camp about July 13th, I believe is the date. And we'll have fresh pork for sale. Not to mention fresh chicken. These have got a freezer camp appointment of May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So these will be going out being sold as well. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I had some thank yous, some shout outs to do. The first one goes out to Charlie, the Pennsylvania grain farmer. If you don't have Charlie, if you're, if you're not already following him, subscribe to his channel, please do so. Charlie's an Oliver guy, obviously from Pennsylvania. And he writes a little note to me. It says, Steve, enjoy the magnet. Hope all is well. Charlie, Pennsylvania grain farmer. Yep, Charlie, all is well. Thank you for the magnet. And I, I've i misplaced all of my stuff. Um, it's, it's somewheres up in the house, but as soon as I find it, Charlie, I'll be sending a sticker back your way. Charlie just recently hit 1,000 subscribers. Very well, very well uh, received. Um, good job, Charlie. The second shout out, thank you, is to another Oliver guy, Chris Losey. That Oliver guy. I'm sure you all have him as well. I'm sure you're following along. Chris lives just down the road from me, oh, 20, 25 miles. And uh, recently we were at a uh, appreciation breakfast. The local dealership put on a pancake and sausage breakfast. And uh, I met Chris at, the, at that breakfast. And he gave me a couple of stickers. I just love this one. My wife's seen that and she says, man, that's really a nice nice decal. So she's uh, kind of grabbed this one up. <laughs> it's, it's going on the refrigerator up in the house. The one, this, this other one, that's going on the beer refrigerator here to my right. So if you don't already have those two guys, please check them out. Um, I want to say uh, thank you again to both of you for following along with my channel and, and being subscribers to my channel. And uh, I guess I'm going to wrap that up, call it a video, and say thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, take care and God bless.